Retirement checkup. The vast majority of Americans haven't spent the time required to ensure a healthy and financially secure retirement. That's the bad news. The good news is, for most of us, there's still time. To update your financial plan and your goals give you the best chance to have that stress-free retirement. So today I'm gonna to walk you through sort of a checkup to make sure you have a healthy retirement plan. I think this is valuable for everyone. Whether you're young and just starting your career, in the middle or the end of your career, or you're already retired. So number one, take stock of your available resources. Before you know where you're going, you gotta figure out where you're at today. Most people don't take a regular financial inventory or a net worth statement. So I'd say once a year, track this and update it um, every year. So it's basically taking all of your assets, including your after-tax brokerage accounts, IRAs, 401ks, Roth IRAs, investments, real estate, any other assets you have, and then subtracting your liabilities. These would be your mortgage, loans, credit card debt, et cetera. This is gonna give you a current, your current net worth and is a pretty good place to start. Next, create a cash flow statement. When trying to figure out what you're gonna need in retirement, you've gotta first determine what you're spending today. Be honest with yourself. Most people tend to underestimate what they're currently spending. A quick way to do this is to take a look at your take home pay. And this is like what your income is after taxes and retirement contributions. Then look at your savings and checking account. Are you able to save money each month or are you spending most of what you're bringing home? There's plenty of free net worth and cash flow statements available online to help with this. Next, project what your fixed income stream is gonna look like in retirement. This is gonna include social security, any pensions, income from investments and real estate that you have. Four, determine what your shortfall is gonna be. So let's say I wanna spend 120 grand a year in retirement. If I have $60,000 coming in from social security and my pension, I need another 60 grand a year from my investments to hit that goal. So now if I need $60,000 a year, I know that I'm gonna roughly need to save $2 million to produce that 60 grand a year. So if I have $2 million and I'm pulling 3% per year from that, then that's gonna create that 60 grand shortfall that I need. Now plan for taxes and inflation. So don't forget about tax. Tax inflation, the two biggest things I see people underestimate when they're doing their planning work. We all believe that we pay way too much in tax today. Most people that come in to see us have the vast bulk of their liquid investments in plans like 401ks, TSPs, IRAs, things like that. It's great because the money went in pre-tax, but what it also means is in retirement, you're gonna pay ordinary income tax when you pull that money out. When you add on top of that, Social Security and your pension, you may be paying even more higher taxes in retirement than you are during your working years. So what can you do? If you're younger, get as much money into Roth as you can. Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks. You're not getting a tax break today, but all that money is growing tax-free for the rest of your life, okay? If you're already retired and you haven't reached age 72 yet, consider converting to Roth IRAs now, okay? The catch is you have to pay the tax today. Maybe don't convert all of your money today, but the goal is to try to start moving money into Roth as much as you can so you have three different sources of income in retirement. You can pull money from Roth, which is tax-free, IRAs, which is ordinary income, and your after-tax accounts, which are gonna be capital gains. So now you can keep yourself in the lowest brackets and pay the least amount of tax for the rest of your life. Also making sure you're paying attention to inflation. We know, all know the cost of everything that we do is gonna increase every year. Now that you've done all this hard work, now you can determine how you should be investing your portfolio. Most people come in and sit down with us and they have no idea what their target rate of return is from their portfolio because they haven't done this work to figure out their cash flow statements, net worth, and all this other stuff that we've talked about. Okay, once you do that, now you can figure out, okay, well, based upon what I've saved, what I need to save, and I have a proper tax planning strategy in place, now I know I need to achieve a goal. Let's say it's 7%. I call this your family index. Now you can build your portfolio around that goal. Diversify your portfolio around stocks, bonds, real estate, United States stocks, international stocks. Um, diversify properly. Don't try to time the market, do me that favor. So whether you're working with an advisor or doing this stuff on your own, build that portfolio properly. Okay, the last thing I wanna uh, remind you guys to do is pay attention to your fees. Most people are paying way too much in fees with the investments that they're holding. Finally, Protect your family and the assets that you've built. 
If you're younger and you have a family to protect, make sure that you have a proper amount of life insurance for you and your partner. Your biggest asset you have is your ability to earn a living. Make sure that that's protected through disability insurance if that's possible. Finally, estate planning. Sit down with a qualified estate planning attorney if you haven't already done so. Develop your trust, powers of attorney, et cetera, and review those every, once every couple years. So I hope you pass your checkup with flying colors or discovered a few things you may need to work on to ensure a clean bill of health for your retirement plan. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.